we are going to learn about angles of elevation and depression. But let's begin with reviewing a few terms. This is a right triangle, and I know that because it has a right angle in it. This box does denote that these two sides of this triangle meet at a 90 degree angle. The side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. In these triangles, I will be referencing an angle. I have angle A here, and this side is adjacent to my angle A. It is beside angle A, and this side is opposite angle A. It is across from angle A. It is the opposite side. We'll be using these terms when we work with trig functions. Here are three trig functions. The sine of angle A, it is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of angle A is equal to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And the tangent of angle A is equal to the length of the opposite side over the adjacent side. Your teacher may have taught you about SOHCAHTOA. It's just a way to help you remember that the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, let's discuss a couple more terms. Let's say I am looking up. This is called the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation denotes the angle from the horizontal upward to an object. So my line of sight would be above the horizontal. Or maybe I am looking down at something. Straight ahead is the horizontal. And if I am looking below or downward, this will denote the angle of depression. And when I have two parallel lines and a transversal that cuts across each line, we know that the angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation. Now let's get to work. A bird is sitting on top of a sign that is eight feet tall. The bird spots a worm on the ground at an angle of depression of 30 degrees. How far is the worm from the base of the sign? Round your answer to the nearest foot. So I do have a bird that is sitting on top of an eight foot pole and he sees a worm. And I know that it is at an angle of depression of 30 degrees. What I wanna know is how far the worm is from the base of the sign. This can be depicted by a right triangle. Here we have the horizontal, and it said that the bird sees a worm at an angle of depression of 30 degrees. Remember, the angle of depression is the same as the angle of elevation. And I am wanting to know how far the worm is from the base of the sign. So I want to know X. Okay, so what information do I have? I know that this is a right triangle. I know I have a 30 degree angle. I am looking for the adjacent side and I know the opposite side is eight. So this problem involves the opposite side and the adjacent side. That's tangent. So the tangent of this angle of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent side. In order to solve for x, I'm gonna multiply both sides by x. I will now have x times a tangent of 30 degrees is equal to eight. Now divide both sides by the tangent of 30 degrees, and those will cancel. I will have x is equal to eight divided by, now the tangent of 30 degrees, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, you will get that it is approximately 0 0.57735. I did round this, so this is approximately that. I will go back to my calculator. I will have eight divided by 0 0.57735. 
And so x is approximately 13.856. Our original problem did say round our answer to the nearest foot. So instead of 13 feet, we will say that the worm is 14 feet from the base of the sign. Okay, one more problem. A 20 foot long bicycle ramp forms a 23 degree angle of elevation with the ground. How high above the ground is the top of the ramp? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. So we have a 20 foot long ramp. We know that it forms a 23 degree elevation with the ground. I want to know how high above the ground is the ramp. So what information do I have here? It looks like I have the hypotenuse of this triangle. I have the angle and I have the side opposite the angle. So I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. I'm going to use sine. Let's get to work. So I will have the sine of 23 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. That would be x over 20. In order to solve for x, I'm going to multiply both sides by 20. Once again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. But the sine of 23 degrees is approximately 0 0.3907. On the right side, the 20s will cancel. I will have just x. Keep multiplying in 20 times 0.3907 is 7.814. Once again, this is all approximately. I have rounded. And the problem said round it to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the top of the ramp is about 7.8 feet above the ground.